Hello friends, I am Welshy and welcome to Theory Pop. In today's episode, I will be working on a theory for my favourite new animated show from 2018, Hilda. More specifically, I hope to answer the question, are we going to see this troll again? And will she play a significant role in a future episode? So settle in, get comfy and let's begin. Oh, and spoiler alert for Hilda Season 1 and for the graphic novels up to Hilda and the Stone Forest. Hilda is based on the graphic novel series of the same name by the UK-based artist Luke Pearson. The series follows a young adventurer named Hilda as she moves from her home in the untamed wilderness to the structured city of Trollberg. There are all manner of wonderful creatures in the world of Hilda, from the contract-revering elves to the troublesome but playful Barghest. Viewers are treated to a magical menagerie of marvellous monsters and spellbinding spectral spirits, courtesy of Hilda and her friends' adventures around Trollberg and the surrounding countryside. While many of the fantastic beasts that Hilda encounters are fairly benign, if not outright friendly, there is one that stands out as more dangerous than any other she has met. Trolls. Though they are not portrayed as mindless creatures, trolls are known for being aggressive, leading to a fearsome reputation. Hilda's initial encounter with a troll in the episode The Hidden People is, at first, terrifying. The hulking creature roars at her and chases her through the wilderness until Hilda reaches the safety of her home. However, it is soon revealed that the troll didn't want to harm our intrepid adventurer, but was instead being driven mad by the bell that was attached to the end of their nose. Once Hilda removes the bell, the troll returns her sketchbook and carries on their way. This scene is a direct adaptation of Hilda's first graphic novel, Hilda and the Troll. In the graphic novels, Hilda's next encounter with trolls isn't until the fifth book in the series, Hilda and the Stone Forest. However, the Netflix show has an exclusive scene that reintroduces trolls much sooner. In the series, Hilda's second meeting with trolls is in the fifth episode of season one, The Troll Rock. After David accidentally kidnaps… troll naps? a baby troll, its mother breaks into the city to rescue her child. Again, we are shown the strength and potential danger of these creatures. The troll's first attempt to enter Trollberg is to try breaking through the huge stone wall surrounding the city, and she does manage to crack the structure with only a few powerful blows. She instead digs her way in, but I think that given enough time, she probably could have broken through the wall eventually. She does, however, manage to break through the window and surrounding wall of the teacher's office with relative ease. As soon as her child is returned, the troll leaves. As Hilda points out, She just came for her baby. See? What's interesting to note is that the two trolls Hilda has thus far met look fairly similar to each other. Hilda's encounter with other species has revealed that they are often as diverse in appearance as humans. When introduced to the Nyssa, a type of house spirit, they all look quite different. Tontu? Uh, you're not Tontu. But we're all called Tontu. Right, sorry about that. Tontu has a different appearance to the other Nyssa that Hilda meets in the streets of Trollberg. They have common characteristics, such as similar heights and tails, but they are all clearly different individuals. It's the same with the elves. Even for a race so tiny, they all have varying appearances, with different body types and hairstyles. So what about the trolls then? So far in the show, we have seen two trolls up close. The one that Hilda encounters in the first episode, and the troll mother that attended the parent-teacher evening. Both of these trolls look very similar. They're the same general height, same overall shape, even their noses appear to be the same length. It's unlikely that they are the same troll as the first was encountered out in the wilderness, whereas the mother and child trolls appear to be based much closer to the city. It could be that these trolls just happen to look similar. Does that mean all trolls look identical? Well, no. In the graphic novel series, Hilda encounters multiple trolls at once. In the book, Hilda and the Stone Forest, trolls light bonfires on a hillside near Trollberg to remind the humans that they are still out there. During a mishap while trying to enter the nowhere space used by the Nyssa, Hilda and her mum are transported to a huge stone forest. While there, they find an entire settlement of trolls. This is where we really see the physical differences among trolls. Some are much taller than others, some are covered in hair or moss, and some even have two heads. There's just as much diversity amongst trolls as there is with the elves or Nyssa. It's just that our experiences with trolls in the animated series have been relatively limited so far. So will we encounter more trolls in Season 2 of Hilda? And will we see the troll mother again? 
Yes, I think we will. Luke Pearson revealed on Twitter the approximate basis of the Netflix show on his graphic novels. According to Pearson, Season 1 was based on the first four books in the series, Hilda and the Troll, Hilda and the Midnight Giant, Hilda and the Bird Parade, and Hilda and the Black Hound. The overall story of the show follows these four entries in the graphic novel series, Hilda's encounter with the Troll, meeting the Elves, speaking with the Giants, moving to Trollberg, meeting the Great Raven, and finding the Barguest. Season 2 will move on to follow the story set out in Hilda and the Stone Forest. As I mentioned earlier, Hilda and the Stone Forest sees Hilda and her mum teleported to a massive stone forest. This turns out to be the inside of a mountain, and home to a large group of trolls. While trying to find a way out, and avoid a particularly aggressive two-headed troll, Hilda and Joanna are helped by a troll and her child. This troll bears a striking resemblance to the mother and child trolls that Hilda encountered at her school. I think that these trolls are the same ones. The creators of the animated series have introduced new storylines and expanded roles for the characters from the graphic novels to further build upon the world that Pearson created. They also introduced threads and hints at future episodes and characters within the series before their appearance in the books. For example, in the graphic novel Hilda and the Bird Parade, we first encounter the Great Raven on the day of the titular parade. However, in the Netflix series, the audience gets their first glimpse of Raven in Episode 1, as he flies over Trollberg and out into the wilderness. We get our first good look at him at the end of the episode The Midnight Giant, as he sits perched upon Hilda's roof in the city. The Great Raven takes off into the sky, and we see lightning flash behind him, hinting at his role in upcoming episodes. The showrunners may have done something similar with the troll and her child from the Stone Forest graphic novel. We have already been introduced to them in the animated series. This would give the troll mother a potential motive for helping Hilda and Joanna to escape from the aggressive two-headed troll. She is repaying the kindness that Hilda showed when she returned the troll's child. This also opens up the possibility that Joanna and the troll will have a mutual understanding of each other in Season 2, that of a parent caring for their child. The troll mother and her child may have a significant role to play in Season 2. At the very least, we are likely to see them in the storyline based on the Stone Forest graphic novel. I think we'll also see more of trolls in general, based on the hints the novel gives us of their society and relationship with the city of Trollberg, but that's a theory for another time. This has been Theory Pop, thanks for watching. Hi friends, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Hilda theory. Do you think we'll see the troll mother and her child again? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see another theory video, click one of the boxes over on the left. Click my face to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.